All right, today we are going to be doing a single unit tip. We have a VPS bite and we're going to be using our turbo temp. It's a faster set material. There is many of these. There's Luxatemp, Integrity, lots of different materials for the fast set temporary material. So the tooth's prepped by the doctor. Uh, we do not need the Vaseline this time, but we can just put it on there for just so nothing happens, nothing gets stuck. The impression here, it goes from our molar 32, 31, and 30. We know it goes on this way. I marked the buckle with a B, so it would be easier for me. I'm going just to take the material. It goes through, it's two parts, it's a base and a catalyst, and it goes through this little orange tip and it mixes together in the spirals. So I'm just going to add enough to fill the inside of this material, the material inside of this bite, just like this, squeezing gently, just to fill that void. I started from the bottom and went up to the top. I know that this is my buckle and it's going to go on this way. So I'm going to make sure I place it on just like that. I'm not going to push down too hard. I don't want the material to be squished out the sides. And then I have a little tester right here to make sure I know it's set up. It doesn't take very long. I believe it's two, two minute, two minute, two and a half minute working time or set time and a 40 second work time. Pretty quick. Acrylic seems to take a lot longer. You have to wait for the material to harden and it, it goes by the moisture of the mouth. It takes probably about five, 10 minutes or so in and out of the mouth. We just have a little tester. We just check it, see how it's doing. Make sure our bite's in a nice spot. Doesn't move the patient's tongue. If it likes to go all around, hasn't moved it around. And it's starting to set now. Like I said, in the mouth, the moisture of the mouth, the heat of the mouth would help make this go a lot faster. We're just gonna check it again. And it's changing its consistency. If you can see, it gets a little kind of harder as I've touched it. <clears throat> kind of a rubbery material now. Once I can kind of not cut through it as easy, I'm going to check my impression. In the, in the patient's mouth, it's the same thing. You would even have a little tester or a little bit out the back somewhere you could check. Once it's in that consistency, it's pretty hard. I'm just going to gently rock off my little bite and check out our temporary. Inside of there is our temporary. I'm just gonna check it. Pretty firm, open this a little bit. Both sides, and just gently, without distorting it, pull it out. You can remove any of the bigger pieces. Make sure it goes back on. It only will fit on properly one way. Not that way. They're very sticky in this state. I'm gonna take our scissors and cut the excess around and then put it back on the tooth. I don't wanna cut anywhere away from our margin, just this extra material that's out here. it up through the middle, make sure there's nothing stopping it, and put it back on. There we go. Now that it's nice and set, I can go ahead and mark my margins and trim it. Fits on there nicely. Our margins are right here. Kind of, you can see the little indent. Pencil doesn't write on the Vaseline very well. All the way around here. And then these are our contact areas right here on the side. So I'm going to put my burr into the handpiece. It turns. And when you put this in, it should go all the way in. One way is turned. Sorry. Then and lock it. 
We're gonna go at a moderate speed. You wanna hold your thumb on your thumb as a fulcrum and your temporary up and you wanna kind of peel. So I'm gonna hold it at an angle and gently just remove what is extra, leaving behind the line of the margin. Go all the way around. It just kind of flies everywhere. You want to hold on to it tight because they can fly too. You want to make sure they're round, they're nice and smooth. You don't want to leave anything sharp towards the gum line. You know, then we'll check the patient's bite, see how their occlusion is. Go all the way around, making it nice and thin so the gums don't get irritated, recede, and cause any kind of issue to the patient. Okay, now I'll turn this off. Put this back on. So we've got our margins. Now we'll check our occlusion. So we're going to put this. Articulating people there would have the patient bite. Tap, 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 tap. And we can see that they're hitting on the outsides of the tooth and just a little bit in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that to make these marks sort of like these. So they're hitting all these teeth evenly on the outside. I'm gonna hold it like this. And I'm gonna gently just remove these darker spots. Kind of make them some anatomy in there a little bit, a little bit of groove so the, they have some, not just a flat tooth. Temporaries in the back on the molars don't have to be as nice as the anterior. They have to look just like the teeth. The patient wants to have a tooth. You don't want to leave them without that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. And we'll tap, tap, tap. And there we go, hitting very lightly on the outsides of the tooth. Now we can cement it on.